Hello, this is my final project for ICT 675 Dynamic Web Technologies, uh, the spring of 2015 at UW Stout. Uh, this project is a uh, general use discussion board uh, that's designed to be used with any topic, any subject you would like to post about. Uh, the site can be found at the link shown here. Uh, we're going to start by looking at the home page. Uh, when you first open up the site, uh, the posts are designed to be set, shown uh, in the order posted. Uh, so the original post will be at the top, uh, the post made after that, second, and so on and so forth. Uh, there are links above the post uh, that say my post, most recent, and then a categories drop down uh, that allows you to select from the categories uh, that you can select when you make your new post. Um, these all are designed to change the posts that you can view on the site. Uh, when you select my post, if you're a logged in user, it shows only the posts that you as the logged in user have created. Uh, most recent changes the sort uh, to be uh, the most recent post at the top rather than at the bottom. And the categories drop down. If you select any of the categories, it will only show posts tagged as that category. Uh, to add additional posts or to reply to existing post, a user does have to be logged in or registered. Uh, the next site or the next page that we're going to look at uh, is the registration page because a lot of the tasks do require a user to be registered and logged in. Uh, during registration, uh, users do fill out a wide variety of information, including uploading a profile picture to be used throughout the site. Uh, it asks for things like a username, password, uh, their email address, hobbies, uh, their hometown, a birthday. Uh, there's also an option to sign into a sign up for a mailing list during the registration process. Uh, looking at posts, uh, whether you're a logged in user or uh, just a general user who's looking at the site without being logged in, uh, when you click on the hyperlink of a post title from the main page, it brings up the post thread. Uh, the very top of the thread will show the original post. It'll show the title in blue, uh, the post content, and then the user who posted it, uh, their avatar, and then the t date and time that it was created. Uh, then any replies to that will show below in the same format. Uh, there is a reply button on each uh, post thread. Uh, if a user does try to reply without being logged into the site, it does re redirect them to the login site at that time. Uh, looking at login, logout, uh, the link is a dynamic link depending on whether the, a user is currently logged into the site at the time. Uh, logging in does redirect a user back to the home page, uh, so then they do have to navigate back to where they were. Uh, once someone is logged in, they can edit their profile. Uh, there are some aspects of the profile that can be edited, as well as the username and password, which cannot. Uh, on the edit user page, it does also show their current profile picture and allows them to upload a new one, uh, at which time it'll apply throughout. Uh, one thing that most people are going to want to do once they're logged into the site is be able to create content. Uh, creating post whether it's uh, a reply or a new post, is all done from the same page. However, if you select a reply button, it does tag it to the thread of the existing post. Whereas if you just click create new con or create a new post, it does start it as a whole brand new thread. Um, it does creating content does require you to fill in three uh, fields: uh, the title of the post, uh, whatever the content is that you wish to post and then it requires you to select a category. Uh, if you're replying to something, the replies category can be different, different than the original post. Uh, some of the features that exist within the site are a dynamic navigation. Uh, the top navigation bar does change depending on whether a user is logged in or not. Uh, if a user is not logged in, it shows things like register or login. If a user is logged in, it shows links to create a new post, uh, to edit the profile, and to log out. Uh, there are also things, uh, or there are also join tables being used in the site. 
Uh, so all of the categories are being held in one table. All of the posts are being held in a separate table from those. And all of the users are being held in a third table. Uh, there is also a custom bootstrap theme being applied to the site. Uh, I just want to thank you for taking time to watch the presentation. Have a great day.